The Quran, when it talks about the gospel, it is talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Where is it? Does it exist today? Does anyone have that gospel? Let me answer the question. Yes, we have remnants of that gospel in the four gospels written by allegedly Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Okay, there are remnants and the Quran alludes to those remnants. The Quran points to those true passages that actually truly belonged to the gospel of Jesus Christ once upon a time. The Quran tells the Muslims to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, which was originally revealed upon him. The Quran commands the Muslims to believe in the Torah, which was originally revealed upon Moses. Is the New Testament the Torah? Or is the Old Testament the Torah? No. I'm really shocked because Adnan is viewed as one of their best debaters mm -hmm. and most knowledgeable. I'm honestly saying this not by way of attacking him. Mm -hmm. I'm really disappointed at the level of argumentation. I really it's thought, bad. I mean, man, dude, guys, Muslims, I thank the Lord Jesus that I know the true God. If I was a Muslim and I was honest and I heard this man talk like that, I would be shaking my boots. Is this your best? This is all you got to say? Whatever agrees with Islam, that's part of the true gospel of Jesus. Yeah. And all this stuff that, that totally refutes and contradicts Islam, well, that's the stuff uh, That's the stuff that was corrupted and, and so on. And, and by the way, um, those of you who are watching, do, do you see what, do you see the methodology that Adnan is using? Because we always want to ask, hey, how come you guys will go to uh, a so-called, you know, prophecy about Muhammad and say, oh, that, that's reliable scripture. Uh, but then you'll turn right around and say, oh, this passage about Jesus dying for sins or something like that, that's a corruption. Well, Anand's trying to say that this is what the Quran is claiming, right? That there are these kernels of truth in the gospel, and you can find them by just figuring out which agrees with Islam. It's either he doesn't get it, he doesn't understand how to make a logical argument, mm -hmm. or he's so desperate to dole meat to his fan base, to give his fan base the impression he's refuting us. But again, that may work for people who don't care about the truth. That may work for people who just want to blindly follow, as you say, the world's most obviously false prophet. If I cannot trust Allah to be clear and what book he's telling me to read, why would I trust him on the way to heaven, right? You're telling me, you, by definition, you Muslims are telling me that your God and your prophet are the two worst communicators who have ever existed. They keep wanting to say one thing, but it comes out completely different. Well, why would I believe these guys on anything? How do I know when when it, when when Allah says something about Tawheed that is something uh, that I'm supposed to take seriously and not like not interpret it some completely different way because he doesn't know how to talk? Chapter ten, verse thirty-seven. This confirms the existing book, and he puts in parentheses, David, the Bible. This confirms the existing book, the Bible, and explains itself. Well, no, it doesn't, because according to Adnan. The Quran really meant to say it only confirms parts of those books, certain verses in those books, and it meant to say you can't trust all of it because you can't find the entire uncorrupt Torah and gospel in those books. Mm -hmm. So again, either Allah failed and he's a terrible communicator and needed Adnan to help him out, or Adnan is grasping at straws. He sees how this destroys Muhammad's prophethood and he needs to dole meat to his audience to save them from the implications of the Quran says, because if a Muslim's honest to the Quran, he has no choice but to leave Islam and come to Jesus and worship Jesus as his Lord and Savior. There's no way around it. Perfect. Sam, can, it's really kind of a sad situation that you've got Allah throughout the Quran bragging about being the clearest communicator of all. He's so clear. And think about it. I mean, according to Islam, Allah had all of eternity to get his book exactly the way he wanted and then when he says things like, like uh, Christians have to judge by the gospel and Christians have no ground to stand upon unless they stand upon the gospel and no one can change his words. When he says things like that, Muslims have to rush to his rescue and say, oh, what Allah really meant when he said that no one can change his words is that no one can change his words in the Quran, but they can change his words in all the other scriptures. And what he really meant when he said uh, judge by the gospel is uh, don't judge by the gospel because it's been, a corrupt, it, it's been corrupted, even though it has a few true statements in it. Um, and what he meant when he said, no ground, you have no ground to stand upon when, unless you stand upon the gospel and the Torah, what he really meant was don't stand upon those books. They've been corrupted. They've been changed. You can't trust anything. Just go to the Quran. That's really what he meant. 
they're telling i mean how sad is it allah is saying i'm so clear i'm so clear you can't even imagine how clear i am i'm just i'm just spitting out all these clear truths oh man they're blowing your mind away and muslims come along uh off the top of our heads we can say much clearer things than our god he doesn't know what he's talking about he, allah just go to your room please because uh you know the adults <laughs> the adults are speaking here uh you're a little too old um you, no one can figure out what you meant but we, we'll explain it this is just, this is the saddest thing i've ever seen in my life sam Come on, David. Surprise! Surprise!